Final round of the John Deere Classic TPC Deer Run in Silvis, Illinois. Scores always low on Sunday here. Jordan Speed, in fact, came charging last year for his maiden victory. He put together a nice effort, but missed the eagle putt at 17. He would finish seventh on the leaderboard, improving seven spots on the final day with a 66. Tim Clark into the top five. Birdie made it to 16th. He was factoring early. Cards a 67 to get to 18 under. Scott Brown, he shot 61 on Saturday. Didn't have the exact same form, but a birdie at the ninth would help him to a round of 68 and into the top five. Jerry Kelly, par 5 10th, one of the Midwesterners that these fans were rooting so hard for. Big putt at the 10th, and Jerry Kelly, another day in the 60s, as he moves into a share of third right alongside Jonathan Vegas. The Venezuelan with a nice finishing birdie at 18. You see the reaction, he was part of a round of 65 to move Vegas up five spots. Zach Johnson, a pair of second place finishes here and a victory, trying to get back in the mix again. Lost out in the playoff last year to Jordan Spieth. He was chasing Brian Harmon this time around. Another player looking for his first win on tour. 88 career starts for Brian Harmon, and he's attacking at the par five second. Second straight day, Harmon makes eagle at the par five. So he played that hole in four under over the last couple of days, and that proved to be the difference. He was on his way, makes the turn in red figures, and lines up birdies at the 10th and then the 13th and another one here at the 15th and Harmon putting together a nice closing stretch. This at the par 3, 16th, eyeing it, then cut to the left and just over the top of the hazard, just right of the flag and that would set up another birdie. He comes in in 33, a tap in bogey and he wins by a shot. Brian Harmon, his maiden victory at the John Deere Classic. He's on his way to the Open Championship. Coverage begins 4 a.m. Thursday on ESPN, and you can keep up with everything by logging on to PGATour.com.